The 37th annual Miss Asian Global Pageant took place on August 13th, 2022 in front of a live audience for the first time in two years. A packed house was on hand at San Francisco's Palace of Fine Arts Theater to see which of the 20 delegates representing their countries in Asia would be crowned this year's Miss Asian Global. The evening began with the delegates introducing themselves in their cultural attire. Then came the popular form and fitness segment. The elegant evening gown segment followed with the judges combining their scores along with the talent competition and the delegates' ability to answer questions prior to the pageant as a means to determine the winners of the several titles to be awarded along with the ultimate crown of Miss Asian Global. And when all was said and done, it was Lisa Yan, a 27-year-old software engineer from San Francisco who was crowned this year's Miss Asian Global. Joining us now on AsianNet TV is Lisa Yan, the newly minted Miss Asian Global. How are you feeling right this moment? Feeling very excited and very tired, but super happy to be here. And this is your first interview, right? This is my first interview ever, yes. I am honored. Anyway, <laughs> what does it mean to you to win this title? To me, being Miss Asian Global means setting a very positive example for young women out there to pursue their careers and also not be afraid to be themselves. Especially in this time of women's empowerment, how important, how, I mean, you have a responsibility now. Yes, I do believe that I, and for women's empowerment and representation, that it's really important to set a good example and encourage other young women out there to follow as well. And San Francisco, you're a San Francisco girl. Yes, I am from you the must, Bay Area. You must be bubbling over with pride. Yes. This is a, I mean, this, you know, Asian Central, right? Yes, I'm super happy to represent San Francisco and so happy that this Asian Global can be in my hometown. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Have a great rain. Thank you. This is Dave Gingona reporting for AsianNet TV.